Hey, hey, this is your daily tarot and guidance reading. My name is TJ and today is February 13th, 2022. This is a pick a card style reading and we will be using three different decks. We have the Smith White Tarot in a Game of Thrones theme. We also have an Angel Oracle deck and a Romance Angel Oracle deck. Now, there will be three groups for these readings. Each group is represented by a different stone, and all of the stones that we are using this week are directly related to the heart chakra and bring about, um, they, they promote love. So the first reading will be represented by the rose quartz, and uh, this stone helps bring about calming and reassurance. The second reading will be from the unikite group, and uh, this one helps to promote love and friendship as well. And the last reading, or the third reading, will be represented by the Green Adventurine. And this stone is actually considered to be one of the luckiest stones out there. If you would like, you can hyperspeed to your reading by going into the description box below and finding your timestamp. Or, if you would like, you can certainly take a moment to see and feel which stone or grouping resonates with you. Let's get started with the first group, and that's the Rose Quartz group. Let's see what message do you have today. So your Angel Oracle deck card is, there's nothing to worry about. And here you have an angel in outer space, and they have a dove and a rainbow and the symbol of atoms, and it looks like they're behind perhaps the moon. And there are many other planets out there. You know, there's so much that binds us. And we are all occupants of this wonderful space and consciousness. All right, let's read the card. There's nothing to worry about. You are safe, and this situation is under perfect control of divine providence and universal order. Only infuse loving thoughts and emotions into the situation to ensure that the highest possible outcome flows effortlessly to and through you. What's on your mind, Rose Quartz Group? What's causing you concern? Now, we're going to read the romance card last. Um, that way perhaps, you know, both of us can be open to the different interpretations and then we'll look at the, um, romantic, uh, aspects to it. So you have the fool and you have the hero friend in reverse. Now the fool represents the beginning of something, the Genesis. Usually, um, it also means that you're you're going by luck, not by luck, but you're going by feeling. You might not necessarily have all of the information privy to you or, you know, just because something is simply new and you don't have the experience, there's a, there's a sense of unknown. But this shows the beginning of something and risk taking. In this picture, we have uh, Tyrion Lannister, for those of you who watched the Game of Thrones series, and he's actually setting the dragons free. He's never even met these dragons before and he's literally going to unshackle them. That takes a lot of courage and could be considered to be foolhardy, but in the long run, in the short term as well, it turns out to be a very advantageous thing for him to do. So you have this card in combination with the hero fant, and we have the character named Varys or the spider. Now this card can represent the bad teacher, um, the rogue mentor, um, the non-traditionalist. So as I look at these three cards in combination, Rose Quartz Group, I'm getting the indication that today, perhaps you're um, wanting to launch something that in a way that is unique, that's non-traditional, um, and you might be worried about it because perhaps you have even been advised um, to take a more, um, a more traditional tried and true route. Um, you're being encouraged to use your individuality and not to worry about it at all. You know, you have to do what's authentic to you. So if this is a romantic reading, I'm seeing that perhaps um, you are interested or someone is interested in you, but the pairing to outsiders could seem to be um, odd or non-traditional. You know, there's so many different ways that relationships can be formed these days. And um, perhaps, you know, you really like somebody, but you are wanting to be in... Um, a dynamic that uh, uh, or have aspects to your relationship that are a little bit not traditional and that can mean a variety of things you fill in the blanks and what you think that can mean so what would be non what could be considered a non-traditional element in your relationship what could be considered something that goes against the status quo um, 
Now you have the card here, let your friends help you out. Ask for and accept support from others. So, you know, sometimes when we begin things, uh, because they are new to us, because we're green in a sense, like, you know, a young plant being green, we don't have a we don't have um, knowledge of all of the, the aspects of it. Now, if you come across a, a situation where you really would benefit from um, learning about things beforehand, as opposed to learning as you go, um, know that you have friends around you who can support you. And if we're looking at this romantically, perhaps um, there are non-traditional elements in your relationship that are being requested of you from a partner, or perhaps there are things that you are learning about yourself that you want that are considered to be non-traditional. Um, it's again, you're being encouraged to talk to your friends about that, to help you sort through that. Um, it can be, you know, there's nothing to be ashamed, uh, about if you want something that you feel is weird. <laughs> I feel like I'm having the birds and the bees talks with a, with a youngster here. Um, anyways, my point is that if there's something that is non-traditional, whatever that may be, that's, that can mean a variety of things. Um, if you need to talk about it with somebody, it seems like you have friends around you that would be a really great ear for you to um, air those concerns and to, uh, you know, hear hear your thoughts against. So Rose Quartz Group, just to, uh, you know, wrap it up again, you have the, you know, um, there's nothing to worry about cards. So perhaps there's something today that you wanted to try, um, pursue, that seems a bit non-traditional. And uh, maybe you're not too sure about it know that you have friends around you who you can talk to about it um it seems like you have a good circle of love and support system with people that care about you i hope you have an awesome day rose quartz group and if you enjoyed this reading please hit the like button and come back for more we do this daily all right let's move on to the second reading and that is from the unikite group i wonder what's in store for you today now i have a, a bundle of stones tumble stones here because i was just feeling so lovey-dovey even before i started this reading i put on makeup and i made my nails chunky and pink so you know i'm in the mood for love all right oh i'm gonna read this one last i forgot all right so you have the angel oracle card unikite group ground yourself and here you have an angel and they're in a, a, a flower garden and there are butterflies and just lush greenery all around them. And it says, when you detach yourself from awareness of body and the physical world, you become ungrounded. Although it is pleasant to float heavenward, your attention and work are needed upon the earth. We're helping you balance the spiritual and the material so that way you can enjoy a fulfilling earthly life. Ah, oh, this is very interesting. Um, you know, have you ever tried taking off your shoes and just standing in the grass or sitting in the grass? That is a wonderful way to uh, promote grounding within yourself. Sometimes our minds can be so busy for a variety of reasons. And um, in order for us to calm that monkey mind, we could benefit by um, focusing on our physical and that will help to calm the mind as well. It's just one of the ways that you can do it. And it's funny because um, Unikite Group, you have here the Page of Spears in reverse and the Moon in reverse. So this tells me that today perhaps you encounter a situation in which you feel it's very difficult for you to speak your mind. The Page of Spears is someone who has uh, difficulty speaking. It also can represent someone who is young, um, maybe chronologically or in terms of emotions. So perhaps you and a dynamic are considered the younger for whatever reason, and you're having a hard time communicating your emotions. And I see that with the moon in reverse, perhaps there have been some buried emotions and um, issues that you haven't felt comfortable bringing to the surface. And it's affecting the way that you are conducting yourself because your mind is going in a tizzy and perhaps you're feeling stressed because you're not able to, um, speak your mind or perhaps the words just aren't coming out right. Oh, Unikite group. You know, if you're, if your mind is busy, if you're having a hard time saying what it is that you're truly feeling, um, I hope you have an opportunity to ground yourself that could really benefit you in channeling that message in the most appropriate way that will help you, um, in, in communicating, you know, this can definitely be represented this type of scenario in a romantic way. You know, the people that we are bound to sometimes we can be, um, a little bit off balance with them and maybe there are unresolved 
issues that are affecting the way that um, you and a partner are communicating with each other currently. Let's see what your romance card is. And it says, keep an open mind. Your soulmate may differ from your usual type and expectations. Okay. So um, this also could tell me that, you know, perhaps you, Unicat group, are attracted to somebody that um, is outside of your norm and um, perhaps this or perhaps this is someone who you have not been able to speak to and you haven't been able to express the feelings that you have towards this person and because you haven't been able to express this um, your mind has been going crazy and it's making you perhaps second guess or question what it is that you're experiencing. So you're you're getting, you're being given an opportunity to ground yourself, and that will. And if you keep an open mind, it'll help you to decipher really what's going on around you. Um, you know, emotions can be such a powerful thing, and it can really um, when we have such an a strong emotional reaction or connection to someone, it obviously that energy then takes away from our mental. And then sometimes we get wrapped up and, and we, we, we go off in a tizzy. So, and then it's like, wow, how did I get here? How can I be? No, this can't be happening. How can I certainly be attracted to this person? You know, the things that attract us to people come in a variety of, you know, packages. It's not just physical. It, it, there could be aspects to their personality. Maybe there's something about them that reminds you of someone else, a family member. I don't know, all kinds of things. So just keep an open mind. This could be a beautiful thing. You just need to collect your bearings and ground yourself because it seems like maybe when you're around this particular person, the words just don't come out right. You get tongue tied. And um, perhaps because of that, you haven't been able to express exactly how it is you feel towards someone. So you're being encouraged to, to, to uh, have some grounding and keep an open mind and, um, you know, ease will come. <laughs> ease will come. I hope you have a great day, Unikite group. And if you enjoyed this reading, please hit the like button, subscribe, come back for more. We have these readings daily. And by we, I mean you and I. I hope you have a wonderful day. Take care. The last reading is going to be from the Green Adventurine group. I wonder what message is in store for you. Let's see. So your angel oracle card is daydream. And here we have an angel in a tent and there are some sort of um, wisps around them, some sort of smoke or steam. And they're looking off into the distance in their mind's eye. And this card says, you will more easily hear and receive our messages if you daydream regularly. Relax and open your mind to receiving without directing your thoughts. Just notice any feelings, visions, or ideas as if you were watching a movie. This is the seat of creativity. Ah, huh. I wonder what will happen once you let your mind wander, once you let your mind do its own thing. What's going on with you, Green Adventuring Group? Now we're going to read your um, romance card last. Just to help hone into the message that's being given here. So your Smith White Tarot cards are the Two of Cups and the Eight of Coins. Very interesting. The Two of Cups represents a partnership, one that's usually sealed, one that there's, um, there's you know, a contract, binding type of thing, um, a marriage. And here we also have the eight of coins, which is considered the apprenticeship card. It's like um, something that you have been working on for quite some time and you're, you're going to start to get the benefits. Like if you were in school, you, you're you going to you know graduate and you'll receive your diploma, or your certification or whatever it is, right? So um, perhaps Green Adventuring Group, today you're being encouraged to dream about the type of relationship that you want, the type of um, marriage that you want, the type of union, binding union, serious long-term relationship that you want. And um, you're being, I'm being, I'm being, I'm being shown today that perhaps there, you have been working towards this ideal relationship and that has been by working on yourself um you know but today you're really being encouraged to visualize it and it's great to be working on yourself and perhaps through that daydreaming that visualization you'll be able to see how that will benefit your future relationships going forward let's see what your romance card is religious factors okay it says your love life is influenced by your religious upbringing and spiritual path perhaps as an individual you feel like from one spirit to the next, it's respectful to, you know, 
um, be committed to one spirit at a time or something like that. And perhaps um, for whatever reason, you have been, you're being encouraged to think about why you have these feelings towards relationships that you do, what that union truly looks like, what, what, what makes that union binding. And perhaps you're seeing that um, your thoughts and ideologies are being influenced by your religious and spiritual background and upbringing. Um, but you're still, I'm seeing today that you are doing the work and this will only benefit you. So you just have to visualize how you can translate that self-work into um, your relationship. Wow. You know, the things that bring upon our, um, our belief system come from a variety of sources. So it's important to understand those sources that they come from, and that will help us gain a better understanding of what it is that we want as well. Um, sometimes we are, when we use our working models only, that's what we emulate. Um, and perhaps we don't want to emulate that, uh, those things so, you know, even though this, this has re religious factors specifically, I'm also looking at the upbringing part of it too. And I want you to, you know, I think you're being encouraged to look at your upbringing and seeing how perhaps that influences the way that you interact with your romantic partners. And perhaps that also influences what it is that you want from a romantic partner. And you're being encouraged, you're being shown that, you know what, in on your half of this partnership um you have some work to do and you know it's great to daydream think about visualize what an ideal partnership looks like and what you can bring to the table if you enjoyed this reading please hit the like button subscribe come back for more i hope you have a wonderful day and uh i hope you find a way to receive love and give love in your every day take care goodbye now